Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Zesty Viking. Hi, how are you? I am uh, joined today by my lovely uh, co-host and beautiful assistant. Where's Wolfie? How you doing, Wolfie? I'm getting new titles. Ooh. Yeah. But I got opinions. I got opinions about what we're going to talk about today. Yeah, today we're going to be... I got lots of opinions. Today we're going to be addressing uh, the new festival that was announced. A sick... Uh, was it Sick New World? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm I'm curious about this one. It's gonna be what uh what, what date was that? It's May thirteenth? May yeah, I believe of it was twenty twenty three. Yeah, May May thirteenth, twenty twenty three, Las Vegas Festival Grounds. Uh the pricing is ridiculous. It was two fifty for general admission, wasn't it? Yeah, two fifty and then GA plus is four nineteen VIP is an additional hundred dollars. Yeah, fuck that. I told you that. I mean I get I know why they're doing it. That's a ton of bands. Yeah. I, well, here's the thing. You know, it's put on by the same people that I think we were, when we were young. Oh, no. See, already I have problems with that. Well, I don't know, because that show actually mostly went off pretty well once they split into three days. And the first day that went bad was not anyone's. Uh, dude, weather's weather. What are you going to do? That's that's nobody's fault. I just can't see myself paying. Look, I've, I've gone to Mayhem Fest. All right. I've gone to Oz Fest. I've gone to Open Air. And with all of those shows where they had huge bands such as like Rammstein, Korn, um, who who was uh, who else was at Open Air? Chicago Open Air was uh, it was they've had Manson, they've had like just incredible incredible lineups, probably maybe better than this lineup. And if I remember correctly, I paid like seventy five bucks tops, and that was I think we paid that was for like I don't think that was general admission. I think that was for VIP. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. It's been a while. It's been quite a few years. Is that right, old man? Yeah. Yeah. But their lineup, I mean, Slipknot was on that lineup. Corn uh, was on that lineup. Five Finger Death Punch, which I know people are going to say a lot of shit, but they were one of the biggest bands. Kill Switch Engage, Gorgira, Mashuga. That was all the first. Yeah, Mashuga. Oh, well, th- see, that was the thing is this was the three day concert. I understand. Day- I think this is going to get split into three days, probably two. Yeah. Even with side stages, dude, that's a ton of groups. Yeah. So but, you have it, right? You have the lineup. Yeah, I have the lineup. Okay. I, I have some, I have some discrepancies about the uh, about the lineup. Well, and then my other thing, right about the lineup, is it seems like this was supposed to be all about new metal, and then mm-hmm. there's all sorts of bands that are like not recent or not new metal. I mean, I, I, yeah. without going crazy, like C, D class, tier. It yeah. might be hard to fill out a show this big, but still, then, okay, then use less bands. Yeah. See, a lot of these guys have been around, like, the early, or well, we'll say the 90s to early 2000s. Um, but I have some discrepancies about, like, how they're going to do this and how who who's headlining it. Like, okay, so we have at the top of the tier here is uh, System of a Down, Corn, Deftones, Incubus. Uh, Evanescence, Turnstiles, Chevelle. But it, it's weird, though. It's a very strange lineup. Well, fuck yeah, but I mean, that's nostalgia for me. That's what this show is. It's a nostalgia show. We accept that. We move on. Mm-hmm. But I agree with you. Like, well, KMFDM puts on a fucking amazing live show. But, of course. Because um, I've seen them at the 20th and 25th anniversary. But that's besides the fact. Um, that's industrial. Yeah, and but... some of their big hit, their biggest hits are like mid to late nineties. Mm-hmm. Uh, but if we're gonna, if we're gonna, if we're gonna say this isn't like, if this is supposed to be kind of like that um, nostalgia show, and it's supposed to be kind of like that era, wouldn't you think that Seven Dust would be higher? Yes. Than Death oh, I, absolutely. And Turnstile, and yeah. Soul, especially Soulfly. Soulfly, one hundred percent. I, I, I mean. I do believe Deftones are on that list, of course. I mean, they were. Listen, listen. You're entitled to your own opinion. Uh, I do. Right. Be, I do believe that they are on that list, but above Incubus or Evanescence, I don't think so. I, I wouldn't think Ooh, so. T- Deftones, yeah. unless unless they're kind of running this as again, because uh, System a... being the top band hasn't been. You know, it's kind of reunion showish. Have they been running yeah. the reunion show circuit every yet? now and then? Every now and then they'll do a reunion show. Um, I mean, they put out like what three songs, like a couple years ago. Uh, sure. Yeah, and and that was it, and it was for a cause. Um, but as far as everything else goes, I mean, yes, yeah, I would put System at the top of that list. The reason being is because 
everyone's been anticipating system. Everyone's always waiting on and what they're doing. And I it's boo always you, huh? I boo you. I boo you. Don't boo me. It's the I'm truth. Boo. It's the truth. Uh, like if it wasn't for the 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 what is it? Uh, Darren and and Surge. Surge. Yeah, like butting heads. Their album. They would have been in the studio long ago. Can I tell you my guilty pleasure on this list, though? Go ahead. Orgy. Oh, I saw that, too, and I was like, oh, shit. And then Monster Magnet? I thought that was really cool. Rup space, mother, Monster mother, mother, mother. Mother. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean... Body count's kind of interesting. The fact uh, that I got Stabbing Westward on there, too, is kind of cool. Yeah, but again, that's a weird one. But then you got Cradle of Filth on here, dude. Like, that doesn't fit into the new metal genre. Cradle of Fifth, Filth is, is like... Is, is black metal. Um, right. I, it's a weird uh black metal because it was kind of a poppy style black metal at the time and then and then you know they have some some heavy stuff but it just doesn't fit on this list unless we're looking at a certain time frame of music and even though that's the case like it just bounces all over the place like death grips doesn't belong on this list if you were to break this list down and categorize it and do like an overlapping circle graph to see where they it, death grips would not be on this list mr bungle and kmfem would not be on the list of like how this fits. It's just very strange. I think this list is maybe we're looking at it through a weird eyeglass because we saw the sick new world thing mm -hmm. and we started, we saw all those top bands, like almost those, the first top three lines is all new metal bands or bands that came out. Not so much Incubus because obviously they went off and did their own thing, but, but that era. And then I think it's as you start getting lower on the list, it's like, could they not? yet certain bands so they had to try and fill out the list somehow i just i don't see myself all right let me let me kind of go back full circle here and when somebody just, does graphics and stuff mm -hmm. what do you think of this uh this flyer i think the flyer looks pretty cool and it looks like it would be like a a corn or even even a cold chamber like you know booklet within their albums you know okay even though even though cds are no longer a thing you know um we're that old yeah no i still love cds though i still love an actual physical album um but i i feel like this this looks like it would come from these artists you know it fits it fits the dynamic but i cannot justify play uh paying no for one person 250 dollars no, even if it's not. even if it's three days, I just can't see myself paying that much. Health. I don't know. Could you listen to a metal band called Health? No, it's just like telling me straight out, "Hey, watch your health. Go fuck yourself." <laughs> what rhymes with health? Fuck yourself. <laughs> um, tell me how you really feel, best. I just don't. I I don't know. I, who knows? They could be good. I just uh, I'm sorry that name. You're just angry at this lineup, right? <laughs> I, I'm I'm pretty angry at the lineup. Yeah, but I I would say I would go see Filter just for one song. Because I wish I would have met them, uh, but it's a little late. Uh, what? That's the song? Yeah. Hey man, nice shot. Oh, that's not me. Oh, I wish you were okay. Yeah. I for some reason I heard the way you said it. I heard picture in my head. Please mm -hmm. take my pick. No, 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 no. <laughs> yes. No. Cold. Maybe? I think that cold on this lineup it, it kind of makes sense. But cold, total. What? <sighs> but but I mean. I had completely forgotten about them, and it wasn't until you reminded me. I'm like, oh, yeah, they had two songs I liked. Um, never heard of London After Midnight. No, that's got to be. I mean, unless they're trying to bring in. He, I'll, I'll give you this. If they're trying to showcase newer bands with these older, um, not nostalgia rock, with these older um help me that's help me uh I, well known because i can't okay okay i got you think of bands then this could be great for metal it could but i just get don't it to a see bigger audience i just don't see it being relevant anymore i mean you're you're not wrong. I, I, I would drop the price 100 percent, unless you're banking in on corn and system of a down carrying it all they will but, absolutely and deftones yeah. This is going to sell out. And I Incubus. promise you this is going to sell out. But I mean, I just, again, unless you're unless you're people like us that will be like, oh, I'm going for Cold Chamber, Soulfly, and, you know, like, fuck, Orgy, or, you know, like, 
And then of course they all play at the same time. Yeah, and then that, that's that, and you'd be pissed off, and you'd just be like, "Fuck this." Well, just remember, it's always better to be pissed off than pissed on. Pissed on, yeah, of course. I, I I would sit and listen to Brackish, and then yeah, go to the next stage. Yeah, I just don't know. I just like again, again, the fact that I wouldn't fucking waste my time getting a ticket to go out there after paying two hundred and fifty dollars, flying out there. Hope I have a vacation day ready to go. And then get disappointed because, you know, some bands that are playing at the same time. Fuck that. No, I'll just wait till there's a festival nearby or I'll go see these bands individually. Now, if Cold Chamber's like doing this one show and nowhere else or something like that, I'd be like, fuck, I really want to see that. Um, yeah, but, but other than that, 50 bucks. Yeah, but not for two hundred and fifty dollars. Not for two hundred fifty dollars. And if, if, if we're wrong, if you feel that we're wrong and that you would want to see this. Uh, and you would pay these prices and go out there. Let us know in the comments. Let us know how you feel, guys. Are we yeah. wrong? Are our opinions wrong? Are these bands in here that you like? Are these bands that you would pay money for? Let us know down in the comments. Um, I've, I've got no further. I rest my case. Wolfie, I think we've beaten this up pretty good. Yeah, I think we've beaten it up. Uh, <laughs> I, I, this is not punching down, but I, I feel... <laughs> I, I feel that I'm I'm just I'm doing that right are now. Are you are you harnessing your inner yeah, Andy don't, Randy right now? Yeah, don't don't tell Randy how I feel right now. If you like the content that you are seeing, do me a favor and smash your face against that subscribe button, like the video, and follow us up for more content such as metal interviews and news.